Hi there! My name is Robin. I'm a designer and illustrator that goes by the online artist name of Rewind, and I want to welcome you to my new channel. I get questions a lot about my process for illustrations and designs, and even how to do certain things in different art programs, so I thought, hey, a YouTube channel could be a fun way to show some drawing videos, tutorials, and even more creative projects. So, starting off, I'm sketching out some drawings for one of my online shop characters, Nerdy Blowfish. I wanted to share the full process that goes into one of these pieces, from sketch to final vector piece. I begin with small sketches in Photoshop, or in my sketchbook. I don't worry about any details, they're just going to be thumbnails for me to get the basic idea or pose down. And once I'm happy with them, I scale it up and we'll do a refined sketch on top, making adjustments as needed. When I think it's ready for final color, I take the sketches over into Illustrator. And I like using this program for all of my shop artwork because it's vector and thus it's infinitely scalable and it won't get pixelated and I can use it on a variety of products in the future. I use a combination of the pen tool and blob brush in Illustrator. Uh, I'll use the pen tool when I need long smooth lines but typically I'm using the blob brush. With some modifications to the general settings, I can get the blob brush to act like a drawing brush in Photoshop, getting pressure sensitivity with my stylus and tablet. Why do I use this method? By using the blob brush, I don't get perfect lines, which is part of my style. Uh, vector art is usually so crisp that it's just my way of adding a more hand-drawn look to it. But that's not to say the blob brush is perfect for everyone. Cleanup is definitely necessary. Uh, the blob brush makes little spurs and weird corners everywhere, uh, so you have to go in and clean all of that up, but I find it very worth it for me. I then start filling in flat colors for the characters, erasing parts that aren't needed and trying to keep my layer palette as clean as possible with groups and compound paths. I really don't like messy layers in Illustrator. You'll see uh, that I've drawn a few little suns off to the side, and this is just a visual cue for me when shading and highlighting my characters so I can kind of visualize where the light is coming from and reminder in which direction it's coming. For this particular character, I've covered him in shadows first and then I've erased where the light is hitting him. Um, so I just started erasing with a general circle uh, for the lightest spot and then erase or add on to that. Also something that I like to do is shade in different colors. Uh, I don't like shading in slightly darker colors than what I'm currently using, in this case like a darker brown. Light sources and character surroundings are filled with color and it helps add more life to the character. Uh, for me, purple tends to be my go-to and in this case it works perfectly because it helps cool down the Blowfish's warm color palette. So I'll set the purple shape to multiply, lower the opacity until it looks just right because I don't want it to be too harsh and I'll do that for his bow tie as well. And speaking of bow ties, his bow tie always has polka dots, so I make a quick little polka dot pattern off to the side, scale it down, rotate it, and fit it into the bow tie. I will definitely be doing a pattern tutorial in Illustrator in the future. Now I easily could have called this piece done, but I decided to go back in and add one more layer of some darker areas and some tiny little highlights here and there for both poses. And when I'm done, save my file, prepare it for exporting, and which usually depends on the piece that I'm working on. In this case, he's going on to some Valentine's Day cards, so he's going to need some background, uh, some text, and then he's going to be good to go. These Valentine's Day cards and other Nerdy Blowfish products will be available from my online shop. Link is in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope this video was somewhat helpful. And if you like what you saw, be sure to thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, be sure to click on that subscribe button. I'll be posting videos more often. Thanks again. And until next time, bye!